there are seven seals, and seven strong ones. Did not God's messengers make the earth a cradle, and the mountains pegs, and built above you seven strong ones, and placed a blazing lamp, and brought down from the clouds pouring water, to produce with it grains and vegetation, and luxuriant gardens. A thick cloud was upon the mount, and the voice of the trumpet exceeding loud. On the opening of the seventh seal, there will be silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. In the right hand of him that sits on the throne is a book written within and on the back side, sealed with seven seals. The Lord will restore sovereignty to the tribes of Native America, and will return their lands, with peace. He is Yahweh, Allah, the Most High. The sky is opened up, and becomes gateways, and the mountains are set in motion, and become a mirage. This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. So far I survived, but you might not, if you fall into their trap. There is a secret out there, that they don't want you to know. Hypnosis is being used against you daily, and a hypnotist can control you. They only need to grab a hold of you, and now they control you from a distance. They can even hold conversations with you on the astral plane, which some people call the realm of thought, or the spirit realm. The well-known science of the mind author Joseph Murphy calls it the subconscious mind. Stay away from astral plane conversations. God does not talk to you. He talked with Moses, and gave Moses his law. God does not hold conversations with you or interrupt you with demands. That's a human, impersonating God, on the astral plane, but it's really a human who's going to cause you damage. These people are into genocide, and they are the same people who practice genocide against Jews, Muslims, Africans, Native Americans, and more. Don't have conversations on the astral plane, stay in God's word. The scriptures say, Thus saith Yahweh, Allah, the Most High, the soul that sinneth, it shall die, the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, he shall surely live. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit, for why will ye die, O house of Israel?